What's up guys, I'm Rustin from RossmerTech.com and this is another Windows 8 or Windows 8.1 tips and tricks video. Now in this video I'm going to show you guys how to get back the classic Windows 7 uh, start menu. Now with Windows 8.1 they brought back a start button here. This is not the normal start button. If you click on it, it will just bring you back to this Metro UI. And if you right click it you have a couple more options but it's not the start button that we know and love. Now thankfully there is uh, a shell it's called classic shell and you could download it and it's free so I'm gonna open up my browser here and Google I'm gonna type in classic shell shell okay so now we can hit enter it's the first link you see classic shell.net click on it now this is the new version 4.1.0 depending on when you watch this video they might release uh, later versions of it so just click on this download now you're gonna download it let it finish once it's finished downloading you're gonna double click on the file right now this classic shell setup will start click next click on this accept the terms and license agreement click next click next install now it's gonna install so give it a couple of minutes to install click yes now it's running the setup now it's finished installing once it's finished installing you should get this message completed the classic shell setup now we're gonna click on finish okay so it'll all load the documentation if you want to read it I'm gonna close this so let's close this so let's go to uh, start here now once you hit the start button right this thing should load up. Settings for a classic start menu. Now you're able to choose different types of Windows uh, start buttons. You so now we're gonna click on the start button here. Now, as you can see, it's the classic Windows 7. This is the Windows 7 start menu here. So that's pretty cool, right? You can change it later on. You can go back to all programs here, click on classic shell, then go down to uh, classic start menu settings, right? Let this load. And default Windows 7 is selected. You can click on uh, the other classic menus. If you like any of the other classic menus here, you can click on them. But I'm going to keep it on Windows 7 because I like it. And I'm going to click OK. So now again, now we have the classic Windows 7 menu here and start button. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys like this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rasim from RossmerTech.com and thanks for watching.